Welcome back to Doc Saying Stuff. I'm Dr. Jay Rutland. Aloka's around, he's just not here. We are going to talk about tetanus. We've talked about tetanus before, but I think what we need to focus on is when you get the tetanus vaccine, what are the components of the vaccine? Let's talk about that right now. Quick review. Tetanus is an infection caused by the bacteria Clostridium tetany. The organism lives in the soil, and if you are infected, you may develop tetany, which is intermittent muscle spasms due to the toxins the organism produces. Tetanospasm and tetanolysin. Tetanospasm can block the release of neurotransmitters, leading to paralysis, or it can lead to involuntary contraction of the skeletal muscles. We treat it by binding the toxin with antibodies so it doesn't allow the toxins to work properly on our cells. One way to develop antibodies is through traditional vaccination. We've all heard mama say tetanus shot. So what's in the shot? Well, the most common vaccine is called Tdap, and it contains molecules that allow our immune system to create an army that fights not only tetanus, but also diphtheria and pertussis. So what are they? Well, diphtheria is a coronary bacterium, or coronary bacterium diphtheria, which is a gram-positive bacteria. So when infected, a toxin gets produced, leading to the formation of membranes in your mouth and throat area, which can disrupt breathing, and that can actually lead to death. Pertussis is a little different, but it's also called Bordetella pertussis, which is a gram-negative bacteria that infects the cells that line the airways of the lung. The surface protein of the bacteria binds to the cilia on the cells. A toxin is produced, not allowing the cilia to work, which leads to your body wanting to cough a lot hence the term whooping cough. Other toxins get produced, which leads to the immune system not working as well. And before vaccination, 20,000 people a year died from Bordetella pertussis. Nowadays, it's only about 100. Talk to your physician about the Tdap vaccine and ask if you need it. I've received mine, and probably every 10 years or so, you need a booster. Thanks for joining Doc Saying Stuff. Really appreciate you guys being here. Alok and I will see you next time.